Number 16. Determine the oxidation states of the elements in the following compounds. And then we have letter A. So we need to find the oxidation states of each individual element. We need to do it for sodium, which is Na, and then iodine, which is I, right? So I'm just going to do my work over here. Okay. So the first thing is, is that let's just, let's just do a little backstory about what oxidation states actually are, right? Oxidation states are charges um, that an element will have. So oxidation states belong to each individual element. So it's, it's a charge that an element will have if it is in an ionic compound. And remember, if it's an ionic compound, it's like a metal and a nonmetal. All right, so oxidation states are just charges that elements have if in ionic compound, okay? So that's like the rundown. Now, where do these charges come from? They always come from the knowledge of all of these elements always want to be Basically, they want to be a noble gas when they're in a compound. Noble gases are the most stable compounds on this earth. And your noble gases are group 18, so all the way over here, right? Now, when these elements exist as, a, as in a compound, they always want to have a charge in which they can be a noble gas. So, for example... Lithium is a plus one charge when it's in a compound, normally. This means that lithium will lose one electron. A plus actually means that you lost electrons, okay? And then vice versa, the negative guys, so negative one, negative two, negative three, these are all saying that you gained electrons, Okay, so positive really means lost electron. Negative means gain. So just make that note. And if lithium loses one electron, if it's a plus one, where does he go? He goes back one box. His number was three, so he has to go back to number two. And lo and behold, number two is helium. It's a noble gas. Nitrogen, for example, generally wants to be a negative three charge or oxidation state. This means that it wants to gain three electrons or three boxes. The number of nitrogen is seven, so gain one, gain two, gained three. Oh, now it's neon. It has neon-like properties. It's still nitrogen, but it's going to act like neon when it's in an ionic compound. Now, we should memorize our oxidation state trends. So this is just a trend. It's not going to happen all the time, but majority of the time, your groups will act like so. Group one generally is always going to be a plus one charge when it's in a compound, an ionic compound. Group two, plus two. Group three, plus three. Group four, and I say group four and group three because these are like 3A, 4A, so you could say 13 and 14. Um, this group is plus or minus four. This group is now minus three, negative two, negative one, and then this is zero because your your neon gases don't have to do anything. They don't have to lose electrons. They don't have to gain electrons. They are like the gods on the periodic table. Everybody wants to be like them when they're in a compound. So that's just, that's just like the rundown. Now, what we're going to do, and throughout this session of questions. What we're going to do is we're going to see what the charges are if I just looked at this compound and then I will check it with my known oxidation state trend. If the check is perfect, we're good. If the check is not what the trend says, something has to be done. So always do your work and then check, okay? So, we know how to make compounds, right? Remember, we used to take the charges that were up here, crisscross them down to get the compound. So, we're going to do the opposite to get the charges. So, if I can just maybe whoop, bring this out a little bit, right? I had one sodium and I had one iodine. 
This one really crisscrosses back up to iodine to tell me that iodine was a negative one. And remember, the negatives are in the back. This is standard. And then this one tells me that sodium was a plus one. So now, technically, this is telling me that sodium was a plus one and iodine was a negative one. Let's see if this trend is what, or let's just see if these oxidation states are what the trend says. Sodium is over here. Oh, it's a plus one. This checks out. Iodine, down here. It's in the negative one group. Oh, that checks out. So this is totally correct. All right, so when they say determine the oxidation states, all you have to do, I mean, you could write it like this, but just know that probably they want, you know, sodium would be a plus one, and then iodine would be a negative one oxidation state. Okay, but that's it, guys. So that's how we're going to take it for the next couple of questions. This one is just letter A, so, you know, stay tuned for B and C and X and Y and Z, because, yeah, yeah, they always do that, right? <laughs> Um, but anyway, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought and I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.